What would you say to a teenager who speaks on their cell phone four or five hours a day? You have troubles because the standards we just spoke about, the FCC standards, were created for six foot male, six minutes use, and um, only the thermal impacts. So the standard basically says your, 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 your cell phone can heat you up by two degrees. And that standard signal for a six foot male goes in your head two inches. That's what the standard is, and it's thermal. They used military models for that, and that's how they derived the standard. A child, by the way, it represents 3% of the marketplace. That standard was, you're not six foot male, you're five foot male. Your wife is a five foot female. Your children are four foot terrors. Everyone has a different impact with that beyond the six foot male. If you're a small child, six years old, chances are the signal goes completely through your head. If you have a teenager, which was your question, it probably goes through half his head because the density of the skull, the interference from the skin uh, is not sufficient to only allow the signal to go in two degrees. So they're using it multiple hours at a time, which the standard didn't reflect. And all science that we see today, all the research that we have, it doesn't look at the thermal. It looks at the biological impacts, anger of our kids, Alzheimer's, ADHD. Uh, these are known connected kind of conditions that have been linked to cell phone use. And anger with their kids. It's, it's growing. You can see from scientific evidence that we've seen a trend in a lot of the behavioral issues with kids. Some are suggesting uh, there are many environmental uh, uh, conditions outside of the RF signal, but also there are others who are saying, no, there's a direct link to the frontal lobe. And by the way, science now can actually measure it, the anger, um, uh, when you have a cell phone influence in the brain. So we're beginning to get evidence that it really does affect the behavior, the biological response of the body.